So let's talk about even and odd permutations. We have uh, the following definitions. Uh, permutation sigma is even if it can be written as a product of an even number of two cycles and likewise a permutation is odd if it can be written as a product of an odd number of two cycles. So some examples would be, so the permutation 1, 2 is odd. Um, the identity permutation is even. Maybe, okay, so let's do some less trivial examples. So if I have permutation 1, 3, 2, I could write that down as, um, I could write that down as the following, which would be, uh, I could write it using the trick to decompose it into two cycles. I can write it as 1, Two, um, one, three. Yes, yeah, that should work. Um, so this would be even. Um, you know, and likewise, if I have something like one, four, two, three, I can, I can write it as, you know, I can write it as two cycles, um, in a similar way. This would be an odd permutation, and so on and so forth. And so then the, the thing to know about even odd permutations um, is that there's this theorem. Um, we'll call it a theorem, which says that uh, any permutation is well, so first of all, any permutation is either even or odd because we can always write it as a product of two cycles. And so we can write it as a product of two cycles and it will be at least, and, and there will be a certain number of those two cycles. They'll be either even or odd. Um, and the theorem is that any permutation is um, not both even and odd. these are mutually exclusive things so uh, a priori we could have had you know something that had you know some three two cycles being equal to something that was a product of two two cycles um, I don't know what these two cycles are but um, the theorem is that this can't happen right this can't happen so if we want to prove this theorem, so uh, maybe I'll 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 really only sketch this proof. Um, we'll call this a we'll call this a proof sketch. And the reason I'll call it a sketch is because I'm going to take this lemma, which is that. Uh, the identity permutation is not odd. So we've already said the identity permutation is even. Um, so it could make sense that it's not odd, but again, a priori, we don't know if something could be both odd and even. Um, and and so this. Proving, proving this lemma is a bit subtle, so I'll put a link in the description. Um, but so we will just assume this. Um, so we will assume this. So 
So now the rest of the proof goes like this. Um, so what we'll do is assume that sigma is a product of two cycles. So let's call those two cycles alpha 1, uh, alpha 2, dot, 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 alpha, um, alpha k, where k is even, so that sigma is even. But it's also odd, so we'll say it's also a product of cycles beta 1, beta 2, dot, 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 beta l, where l is odd. OK. And so now what we can do is if we, well, if we want to find the, so, so what's the idea going to be? It's going to be to think about sigma in these two different ways and reduce the computation to the identity. So we're going to want to think about sigma inverse. Um, so if I want, if I have this product of two cycles right here, um, I can find their inverse. Well, what's the inverse? The inverse of a uh, two cycle, right? Beta i inverse is just beta i. It's a two cycle. It switches two elements. That's all it does. Um, so, so we could we could say that beta one to beta l inverse, which is of course sigma inverse, will just be uh, you know beta l beta l minus one dot 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 beta two beta one. So I just reverse the order of all of my two cycles. Now I'll write down sigma times sigma inverse, which is the identity, sigma times sigma inverse. And I'll write the first sigma as these alphas, alpha 1 to alpha k. And then this will be beta l. Then I'll write the second sigma as beta l down to beta 1. Uh, but this. Uh, this is a product of k plus l, uh, k plus l cycles, and k plus l being an even plus an odd is odd. So that's a contradiction, um, and because of the contradiction, the theorem is proved.